Hey everyone, this is D Movie Man, fellow cinephile, popcorn addict, and emerging film critic, coming to you with reliable recaps, reviews, and reactions. And today I'm coming to you all with a review for Cycles, written, directed, and produced by Oscar Women Hyde, and starring Henry Fisk and Henry Wilson. Story wise, the film is centered around a young man beginning his journey at university and officially moving into his dorm hall with the assistance of his older brother. But in the midst of this process, the younger brother begins to experience a sense of isolation and anxiety. This then pushes him into an unexpected conversation slash argument with his older brother as they begin to confront everything that has been left unsaid between them for many, many years. So I am going to start with my pros. I really, really appreciated this project. As I previously mentioned, this film is written, directed, and produced by Oscar Winman Hyde. We also have Cameron Fox as co-writer and Luciano D'Amato as co-producer. First, let me say that Oscar actually took the initiative to reach out and inquire about getting my thoughts on his film and giving this review. So that also means that this is my first time getting a screener for anything, much less a request for a review. But also just the fact that you were willing to seek me out and then request my feedback and that you wanted to hear my thoughts. I really, really appreciate that and I absolutely do not take that for granted. So first and foremost, thank you for reaching out and thank you for the request. Now, what immediately jumps out at me with this film are the opening shots. This film was shot over five days in Bristol and as soon as I saw the city and the buildings and the streets, I was instantly transported back a few years ago when I visited the UK for the first time. And immediately I was like, oh man, <laughs> like I missed it so much. And I just love those shots. It just immediately brought me into our setting and beyond just having a personal connection to it and a personal appreciation for it. I love that it really set the scene for what we get afterwards. Our central setting, of course, is this dorm room, so I thought the opening shots were a really nice juxtaposition to that. I think it really helped emphasize the claustrophobic nature of the setting, especially with our main characters, in contrast to the openness of the city and the streets. And then we have everything being confined to these four walls, which also connects to our main character feeling like the walls are literally closing in. So immediately, I love the subtext of that being emphasized already with the setting. So I have said this plenty of times in different reviews. What I love about independent filmmaking and filmmaking with lower budgets is that it really forces you to look outside just the aesthetics and the visual nature of filmmaking. And it pushes you to really dig deeper into the subtext and the foundation of the story that's being told. This particular film was made for less than a thousand pounds, and I think it is absolutely keeping with that theme of allowing the story and the dialogue and the performances to carry the film overall. And I really appreciate the simplicity of the film narratively and the message that it's emphasizing. So to give a little background, the inspiration for this film came from Oscar's own personal experiences at university trying to adjust, trying to fit in, trying to settle into this new environment. I can definitely relate. I remember my own experience at college and although it wasn't negative, it still was a lot to adjust to, especially when you get used to your mom and your family and being at home and your friends, you get used to a certain environment. So all of a sudden it's like, what is this? But then in addition to that, making it through the experience of university and graduating and going forward and still having those feelings of pressure, of loneliness and isolation still tug at you, even though you've made it through, you know, you've stayed the course and you've made it, but those things are still lingering with you. I can absolutely relate to that as well. I am still in a place where I'm trying to figure out what the future is supposed to look like and trying to make sure I'm making the right choices, but still being very unsure and being somewhat of a nervous and sometimes anxious person, just trying to have hope and trying to believe, but still feeling just very shaky about what life can be going forward. And I loved how narratively the film is highlighting that because that is a very important message to hone in on 
and it's something that really doesn't get talked about as much as it should. I do believe that having films like this can absolutely jumpstart conversations about life, about expectations, mental health, depression and anxiety, feeling pressure, whether it's from society, from our families, or even if it's just coming from ourselves. And as Oscar himself said, learning how to confront those feelings and give voice to those feelings and not hide from them. And along with the story, we have the performances from Henry Fisk and Henry Wilson that are allowing us to dive headfirst into those feelings. I think one of my favorite dynamics to explore, really in any medium, is the dynamic between siblings. Sometimes it's a sibling rivalry, sometimes it's the unconditional support and love of a sibling, and sometimes it's the lens through which one sibling views the other. A lot of times the perception you can have of someone in your life, even when you've grown up in the same household, is nowhere near what you would think. There are all kinds of roles and positions that siblings can be placed in and many different ways in which their lives as a part of the same family can play out. I very recently had the opportunity to see Good Luck to You Leo Grand at the Sundance Film Festival. And that film, similar to this one, is literally about two people just having conversations. And I have grown to really appreciate those type of films because of what they have to say. I also have to include One Night in Miami in that conversation, although in that case it's four people and the framework is with these four legendary black figures in history. Yet and still, in all three projects, we are really diving into these characters' ideologies, the way that they perceive life, and what's even disrupted their lives in very unexpected ways. And similarly to those films, I think that is where this film comes alive as well. All right, now I'm going to jump over to the cons. To be honest, I don't have many. My first thought is that in very specific moments, I think it would have been nice to see a few cutaways. I don't think it's something that needed to be overused, but I think it would have been nice to see with certain characters when they're describing very specific circumstances. For instance, when the older brother is sharing his experience having a discussion with his mother about marriage and how that actually goes a very specific way for him, I thought it would have been nice to jump to the moment that the character is describing and see just his reaction to that as it's happening and as he's describing it. I think doing that would have centered their emotions in that past experience while also juxtaposing it with this very present, current recollection of that experience. And then maybe thinking about a theme of movement, I think it would have been nice to see the characters slowly move out of their environment. I think that would have been a really interesting parallel as they start, everything is very closed up, everything is very walled, like the dorm room. But then as they begin to have the conversations and they are unlocking all these truths and all these moments and all these feelings, then they start to slowly move outwards in the same way that they're moving outwards emotionally, if that makes sense. Even if it was just us closing things out with us seeing them outside again and outside the dorm hall, I think that would have been a really nice touch to just bring everything full circle again. So I'm going to give Cycles a B minus. I really do appreciate this film. I appreciate everything that it is saying. I appreciate the heart behind it. And even everything I've said is with respect to the vision that was established here. But beyond that, I personally can relate to the material. And even if I didn't, I think there is such an impactful aspect of this story that is being emphasized. And I really, really appreciate that. And with all that being said, Oscar, as you're watching this, I hope that you continue to take your passion in telling stories like this and shedding light with topics like this. And as you continue onward, just know that you have a supporter in me and I am more than excited to see you continue on and do even bigger and greater things in filmmaking. Cycles will be released on Amazon Prime February 28th. You guys are free to check it out when it drops. Leave your thoughts below and let me know what you think. So, once again, it's D Movie Man signing off, and I'll see you with the movies.